Hey everybody, I'm here to talk about my new shawl which I finished. It wasn't very adventurous on the stitch and I, I think I might have lost my mojo a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> but that's only because you're not there to encourage me and to see all my new wares. But anyway, this shawl is my favourite and it's a lot of people's favourite shawl because it's nice to do. It grows quickly. It's a great shape, it's nice to wear, and it, it works well nearly any yarn, so that's, that's a bonus. This is one skein of uh, four-ply, one of those lovely, lovely hand dyes, uh, with a little bit of four-ply on the edge, just any old thing. I was actually ripping back a previous thing that hadn't worked either. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not everything is a success. So, I want to show you a few different ways to wear this. This is the first way, with the wee point at the back, at the front. And I'll take it off and show you. It's this shape, so it's quite long. Whoa, it's, it's long with a, a shallow point, so it's, you know, it's not one of those deep shawls. So I hold it at the front, tip the two sides to the back, and round at the front again, and just dangle it comme ça. Voila. And it sits, and it stays, and if it's really cold, ooh, you can yank it up a bit, and tie it, and do that with it. So it's it's kind of melted. <laughs> it's it's kind of tidy, or you can have it at the back. So you wear it like a like a classic old Mother Hubbard shawl, except because it's not deep. Um, it can it just drapes over your over your shoulders like that, and then if you want, you can tie it at the front, and have it like a little. Oh, like it's just, you know, my casual cardigan at one of those. I'm picturing like a after golf party or somewhere where they serve champagne and they don't count how many you've had. <laughs> um, the other way is like a cowl. So it's quite loose and you tie it in a little knot and you could tuck all that up. So it's just like a lovely cowl that you could wear tucked into your jacket. And who knows it's crochet, who cares? This is kind of some like silk and cashmere. I'll, I'll write it all later up in, in the pattern. But the, the pattern actually already exists. This is the ice cream shawl, which is cream on my Etsy shop. So look out for that, it's cream. But this is the four ply version, whereas the original is in double knitting. But you could try it in, in many, uh, many yarns. It's the Suzette stitch, which is so easy. It's a one row pattern repeat. And while you've got to pay attention at the start of each row, that's it. After that, it's shoop, every row's the same. Just two chain, work your two Suzettes at the start, buzz across the row. But I have a little um, video of me doing it, which I'm going to put up next. So thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, oh, nearly forgot. The reason why I'm doubly melted is the woolen beret, which I'm wearing because I've got to put those up on Etsy too and I, I do need encouragement because it takes forever to take pictures and good pictures and good lighting. Uh, it's warm today, I have no excuses because it's it's a lovely bright day. But this is the applique paisley pattern which I've added to about eight berets in various forms. So I'll be putting those up, the berets are for sale. I like this one because it matches. <laughs> but uh, they're, up, they're for sale. I don't know how much they're going to be yet, but not too, not too dear. These are made by me and embellished by me. The hats themselves, the berets, are bought in. And they're really nice quality. A little nubbin at the top. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed watching this. Oh my goodness, the reason why I'm doubly melted is because I've been doing over, overdoing it in the crochet and I've got a deep heat patch on, which, albeit out of date, is still working very well, so very efficient on this warm day. So I'm going to strip off. And uh, I'll see you later, guys. And thanks so much for checking in. Always all your comments. Thank you. Oh, wish we could have coffee together. See you soon. Be back. Bye.